Grandpa beat his grandson every day for eight years in a row. He taught his grandson a lot of special abilities but wouldn't let him use them, especially not to be discovered by ordinary people. But his grandson always used his special powers to fight with ordinary kids. After each fight, the grandfather would take his grandson and move away, because he didn't want his grandson to get involved in killing. But tragedy struck soon after. Grandpa died in front of his house with scars all over his body. Grandpa had taught him to be patient in times of trouble and not to use his special powers. If he did, it would cause a bloodbath. So he disguised himself as an ordinary person and endured for 14 years, even when he was bullied. He never fought back, but after a series of strange events, he finally had to use the power he'd been hiding for 14 years. The man's name is Jack. That day, he discovered that his grandfather's body had been stolen, and a woman appeared out of nowhere, claiming to be his half-sister. He knew she was a fake, but at night, he found the woman at his grandfather's grave. He took pictures with his cell phone to prove it, but he was caught. He didn't expect the woman to take off and knock him out with a shovel. When he woke up, the woman threw him into a pit to bury him alive, but at that moment, a group of puppets suddenly appeared in the graveyard. The woman seemed to be in the form of a lightning bolt, and she could easily take care of these troubles. But when she was fighting, the woman stopped fighting and turned to run away. She left Jack alone in the cemetery. The woman went to meet a man. They were actually looking for Jack's grandfather's body, but they were too late. The man was worried when he heard she left Jack alone in the cemetery, because he thought Jack was just a normal person. But what he didn't notice was that this lightning in the sky was coming from the side of the cemetery at that moment. When the two of them arrived, both the puppet and Jack were gone. Jack is now a college student. When he went to class the next day, he didn't expect the woman from last night to show up. They found a deserted place to talk. The woman's name was Mary, and she said she realized last night that Jack wasn't a normal person. She forced Jack to use his special powers. Jack said, I swore I wouldn't show my powers to anyone. When Mary heard that, she backed away. She jogged, used the wall to fly up, raised the kitchen knife and rushed at Jack. Unexpectedly, Jack knelt down and said he was just an ordinary man, but Mary didn't believe him. She used two kitchen knives to chop up his clothes. She took photos with her cell phone and threatened Jack to recognize her as his master. Otherwise, she would post the photos on the school forum. Jack cowed out to his master without saying a word. However, his grandfather's body was in the hands of these people.